Hello everyone, Wenzel Tron here. We're back on the Heroes of the Storm 2.0 beta because I totally forgot, with all the excitement of the new map and the new hero, that Mr. Uthi here got a rework. And I'd known about this for a while. Now it's finally live on the beta. It'll be live on the servers next week, April 25th. But this will be like my first impressions videos. I've done two games to warm up and figure out his talents. And I think he's actually got a couple builds, to be honest. But the one I'm going to do is going to be like a battle Uther, where you're going to just want to get as much standing out and damage from your Holy Shock uh, at level 4 and stuff. And I think it's a lot of fun. It, it just feels really cool. Like, I just like being able to have this, like, proactive support where you're actually actively changing the course of the battle by being able to do other things than just being heal bot. And I really like the change to his trait. Where now you get a 25 armor, and for two seconds, for every heal you do, and for anyone you heal. So it's really nice. It feels really good. Like, you feel really impactful by doing this. And I'm just really glad that Uther is back, in a way. And I really hope he stays uh, relevant, because he's not been relevant for a very, very, very long time. So I'm going to stop rambling here, and we're going to get in the game and have some fun. It's probably going to be on Hanamura. And so hopefully I can talk about the map a little bit more instead of my previous video with Genji where I was just mumbling words and not understanding what I was saying at all because I was just so focused on playing the game. See you in game, everybody. The light abandons no Alrighty, everybody. I say that all of the time. My verbal tics. My verbal tics. They're getting to me, peeps. I'm going to try and not say the same phrasings all over and over again. Anyways, Hanamura. It's the newest map. It's amazing. It's dragony. It's awesome. It's really cool. It's also really scatterbrainy. Um, there's a lot of stuff that can happen all at once, and you got to be pulled in multiple directions to stop payloads. It's crazy. It can be really crazy, and it's hard to manage. And I thought this was going to be a really weird map initially because of how low the health is on the court. But I think they balanced it really well, and it's just fun. It's just very unique and different. And one of the things I forgot to say. In my previous video is that these camps here they spawn regular enough that you can actually have a, a dedicated jungler to actually get enough ex as much XP as you would in lane uh, they have double support Lily so I kind of prefaced that um, Uther's trait has been improved instead of just dying and that's it he now dies, but also has the ability to heal. Or gets armor bonus, rather. Can I heal Mr. Genji there? He's moving all over the place. Go away. Stop it, Uther. So they have an enemy Uther, so we can see what he went. So he went the W build, or at least the W talent. Come back. I want to be behind them a little bit, but they're all ranged, so it sucks. No! I couldn't heal him. So they do have a probus. Um, so my first talent is called Silver Touch, and it says reduce damage from heroic sources with devotion. So that's my trait. And after reducing damage 40 times, the Holy Light's mana cost is reduced from 90 to 70, so 20%. And after reducing it 80 times, the mana cost is reduced to 50, and its range is increased by 50%. I really like this because you can use it from very, very far away. I mean, you can see the range there so far. And just how much it can do there. Um, so just even more range is always better. Hit me, please. Um, other than that, I don't think they changed anything else. Oh my god, Genji. So, I realized too that stunning Genji, when you stun him while he's deflecting, it actually stops him from deflecting, which is awesome. Uh, I don't know why Probus put his towers or his crystals so close together, and I apologize if I just bumped the microphone. 40 seconds on all. Let's get this camp. Here, Vault Dad, take a heal. Trying to maximize my heals. 
and I want this. So these are the new thing. So when you get the camps, they don't provide just a pushing force. They actually provide, we're gonna go healing shock. They actually provide a way of just extra utility, which is really neat. And I don't know what the heck we're doing here. Why not? Okay. Enemy payload. So we just let them turn in. Heal shock. Healy shock. Yes. Did it. Payload firing on enemy core. Doing the things. Oh, he used the vision thing. So now they have an Asbadan top lane. It seems like split pushing is really strong in this map to get these forts down, just to make it harder for your team to um, just be able to move around the ref safely. But for the most part, now that sucks. Um, I'm actually gonna stay down here now. All right, Air Meriden, let's do it, buddy. My eyeball itches. Ugh. Probably blow him up for us. Payloads deployed. Escort your payload to its destination. <laughs> what? I have no idea why he died. Oh, what? No! Crap! Oh, it stinks. So I was gonna say, you could put them on the, tur the this payload, but it didn't work. That's stupid. Oh man, I'm so mad. Probus is back. I want to heal Mr. Genji. All right. We did lose false dad. Uh. Run away. So I died. I shouldn't have done that. It is what it is, though. It's fine. Just having fun. I don't know. Let's see. How much have I healed? 10,000 versus 12,000. And Lily's at 8.9. Hmm. Not terrible. Not great. Ping him for my team that I'm on the way. Uh, looks like they're sieging in here pretty hardcore right now. We are down by one point because they have that. Oh my god, Genji went in. I meant to heal him, but he flipped and flipped out. And it looks like we might be able to kill Uther. Nope. Heals. Uh... I want to heal as many of my friends with my W as possible. It doesn't heal for very much. No! Uh, I was trying to heal it. I was so trying to heal him. It feels bad, friends. Can I move with the payload? Um, because we don't really have burst damage, I'm probably definitely gonna go the other talent. Uh oh. Ah! I'm gotta leave. So the boss will eat somebody here. <laughs> I'm gonna go top to heal. So that sucks. 
they just got their second payload right by that versus us. And also 11. So, double sucks. Ha, I like it. Heal. Got him. Goldan still died. Oh my gosh, why did it heal her? No, no, double no, god dang it. I'm trying so hard. Friends, I don't know why. I was doing so good. I was doing so good on the other video, the other games. But doing not much less, let's see, what did he do? So he got the W talent, which is increases duration of devotion. Okay. Right. And it reduces, again. refunds 10 mana and reduces cooldown by one second. Okay. I like it. So nothing crazy. False dad got a recon thing. What else did he get? He got ancient Kings like me. He also got holy fire. I didn't get that. I got holy shock. Holy fire might be better just as a passive. I feel like I'm not an auto attacking enough to be honest. Alright, so I've already completed the 80 hits needed. Going for Lily. Going to heal Gold Dizzle. Going to stun. So, I gotta say though, that Genji ult is not very good. It is probably the worst of the two. I just healed myself again. I'm so bad. Okay. Heal as many of them as I can. So now the range is huge. 50% range increase, as you can see there on my queue. Fantastic. I want this. Okay, guess not, false dead. Why do you need that? I'm the healer. I have my alt, so we're gonna get mounted up. We could probably kill Asmodunk. And got him. Got the probe. Slowing Uther down so he doesn't get hard engaged on. I'm gonna heal. Huh? Yes! The dream! Oh, the dream! Double kill. So divine shield happened. Oh, baby. A triple. Oh, baby, a triple. Take down this mm -hmm. Reference check. Attack the power. Can I hit him? Can I hit him? No. We did it. She get this camp. Oh, this is a wall here. Nullification field is there. Slow and Genji. Healing. Oh, see that? The range is coming in handy. Uh, can I heal Gul'dan? We got out. I'm out. Gul'dan's not out yet. Oh my god. Heals, 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 heals. Yes. Cool down. No, Genji died. Crap. I heard the, the buzzer beater go. I'm scared. There. There's a heal, buddy. Very wise. Yes, you are, Mr. Mr. Uther. Do do do. Nullification field was used again. I'm not dead. 
decision. There's a Lily here and uh Ha! I have divine stone, but I don't want to use it yet. So they're gonna get the bottom one, that's fine, but we are contesting the right one in my opinion. Enemy Oh baby! Oh baby! Stun! Holy shock! Oh he got out because of a Z. God dang it. Uh we're doing so good. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna do benediction so I can do more holy shocking. <laughs> Halo firing on enemy core. I'm gonna stay with hammer. Yes! Hammer to the advantage. Using hammer to the advantage. Heels! Get holy shocked! Oh my god! <laughs> this is so much fun, guys! Holy shock! Sound decision. The light is with us. Their Uther's trying to do the thing, but we're holding them here. Graduating range is real. Got away from minion wave. Healing the false dead. Got him! Got him! Oh, baby! We can do this. Oh, baby. I'm doing the thing. Let's see how much I can heal. A lot more. Bye, Lily. I need to get out. I need to get out. Okay, Benediction is a lot better than the. I was gonna go Beacon of Light, but I think Benediction is a lot better when they don't have. Uh, when you wanna keep attacking stuff. Uh, Lily's dead? That's a double kill. We did it, guys. Popping Benediction, and we win! Doesn't matter! Oh my gosh! Guys, I did it. That was really fun. Whew. Intensity over 5,000, though. I got four clutch heals. I'm a clutch healer. <laughs> All right. We'll go over my talents real fast. And then, I'll see you later. Uh, oh, yeah. Click this button. That would be helpful, right? I love this new load screen, by the way. It looks really neat. Way more, less plain. Uh, we've completed a quest. Bam! More gems. I'm at 2,400. That means I can get the Dibble skin and a chest. But first, stats. So, 16,000 siege damage versus their Uther. Way more. Hero damage, uh, 2,000, which is 2,000 more than their Uther. But there's the healing. I did more than either of their healers, which is awesome. And now we can look at the talents. So we did, I did a hybrid, Q, I, would, I didn't even do a hybrid. I was just doing a Q build that I could use as battle Uther as necessary. Uh, Guarding the Ancient Kings is one of his newer talents that I think is really cool. Uh, when you're stunned, rooted, or silenced, you gain armor bonus uh, received from 25 to um, tw uh, 75. So that's really cool. Um, now that I actually think about it, though, they didn't have any of those things. So this was a waste of talent. We'll have to go look at that, see what I should have picked. Uh, and then Holy Shock here is used to do 50% of its healing as, as damage. When used this way, Uther's self-healing receives its self-healing benefits, but in its cooldown is reduced by 6 seconds and refunds the mana. So you can keep spamming this out a little bit. And then you get a blessed champion. So after you use Holy Light, uh, 
Uther's basic attack heal him, and nearby allies for 15% of the amount to heal uh, by Holy Light. So that's really cool. I did, it just allows you to become like this in the fray healer where you're still getting supplemental heals between all of your abilities. And then I went Benediction this time. So this used to be, I think, it's level 20 talent, if I remember correctly. And now you activate to reduce the mana cost of Uther's next basic ability by 50 and its cooldown by 10. So, now, if we look baseline, this is a 12 second cooldown. But if you do Holy Shock, it's a 6 seconds cooldown. So if I use it as a damage ability, it will reduce its cooldown instantly. And it was doing about 300, I want to say, in the late game. So it does 50%, so for the tooltip here says 380, you can just divide that by two and we'll get 140. No, yes, no. I think, no, hold on. I've been, I'm tired, all right? Don't judge me, but we're gonna look this up. Calculator, I mean, not cook it up, but it is what it is. Uh, 380 divided by two equals 190. There you go. I don't know why I thought 140, that was stupid. Um, so yeah, basically you can do like 500 damage right out the gate. And it just gets better. It scales better throughout the game. So you're just going to keep doing more damage. You can do do those twice in a row, just bursting someone down. Especially if you see them at like 10% or something. So that's really good. Uh, and then level 7, I messed this up. I shouldn't have gotten this. Um, I probably should have just gotten cleanse. Uh, and cleanse, I mean hand of protection. Because these didn't really affect what happened from the team, I would say. But this one would have helped from Lily's ult. So activate to make it a tar target online unstoppable. This cannot be cast on Uther. And basic attack, basic attacks reduce the hand of protection cooldown by five seconds. So that's awesome. I think it's really cool that they've added that in. It's very paladin-like, and it's a 90-second cooldown, so it's longer than the baseline uh, cleanse. And then at level 20, I would have just gone for either improved divine hurricane or any of these. Excuse me. These two as well. So Redemption is a new one. So this is now after, or this is not new, but you return at half your HP from where you died. So when you die, you become that spirit that you can spam your heals on, but you can uh, come back to life. And then you get Devotion or Divine Protection where you get your uh, passive that stacks twice instead of just the one time for two seconds. So it's really cool. I think this new Uther is a job well done. I really like having quest talents at level one. Um, and each one for like one of his abilities and stuff. It looks, it's really cool. I think that's a good design. All right, everybody, I did it again. My verbal tick. That's gonna do it for today's video with the Uther rework. And this one was the battle healer, uh, so-called. And um, yeah, I like it. It's, it's really fun. It was really fun. I had a lot of fun with this and I really liked the game direction so far, so. Let me know what you think about the new Uther, and I'll see you in the next video.